Welcome to this CamCloud demo. I'm going to show you how to set up a Sony IP camera with CamCloud. Once you set up one of your IP cameras or a webcam uh, with CamCloud, it will enable a whole variety of cloud services that you can use with your IP camera. Everything from mobile apps, a nice web interface that allows you to manage the cameras, uh, and of course cloud storage for your recorded uh, videos and snapshots. So what CamCloud provides is one place to manage all of your cameras and get cloud storage, mobile apps, and all these uh, extra features for your camera. So let's get started. Uh, as you can see, the first step is to log into the CamCloud website at camcloud.com. And if you don't have um, an account, then of course you just register at the website. So I'm logged in already, uh, and I'm at the cameras page. Uh, this is the main page where you uh, set up and configure your cameras uh, so that they are connected to the system, to the service. Uh, and I've already got a few different cameras uh, set up here. I've uh, two different types of Foscam uh, cameras as well as a uh, Hikvision camera uh, and that's one of the benefits of the CamCloud service is it allows you to mix and match uh, different types of IP cameras uh, even uh, gives you the ability to use uh, a regular webcam, a USB uh, webcam or even a built-in webcam uh, that's maybe uh, built into your laptop. So you can mix and match the cameras and have one uh, service uh, that allows you to manage all of these cameras, sort of a unified service uh, that allows you to manage all your different devices. And you can see here I am able to uh, quickly turn them on, uh, do some live streaming uh, right from uh, this handy uh, live streaming interface and some of the cameras if the features are available you can do things like pan tilt uh, set motion detection areas uh, so a bunch of great things you can do uh, depending again on uh, the specific features of the camera so uh, that is the cameras that I have set up right now but as I mentioned at the outset I'm going to go ahead and add a Sony uh, CX600 uh, camera uh, to the service and show you how easy it is to do that so what I do is I click Add Camera and it launches uh, a wizard. This is our Add Camera wizard. Uh, there's just a couple steps uh, to doing this. And you can see the list of cameras that uh, are supported by CamCloud. Um, I've mentioned uh, several of these uh, types of cameras already. Um, everything from webcam, Axis, Foscam, as well as uh, these two generic categories, generic MJPEG uh, and generic H.264. Those are used for, uh, these are kind of catch-all categories uh, that can be used uh, to add a whole variety of different uh, camera types. But we're going to add a Sony camera and the models that we support are automatically pulled up here and I'm going to go ahead and add this CX600W and you have to give it a name, it can give it any name, it's just an identifier uh, so that it shows up uh, in your list uh, described as you want it to uh, and there it is, Sony office camera and then we go next, so that's an easy step uh, the next step here is uh, the network configuration. Now this is uh, a pretty crucial step and uh, if you can't get your camera configured on the network uh, properly then uh, the CamCloud won't be able to uh, to access it. So this is a, an important step. It does require, uh, depending on the camera, um, but for most part does require port forwarding. We have a port forwarding guide uh, that explains the uh, the process. Uh, I have port forwarding already set up, that up. so what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill out these uh, fields here. Uh, first of all I need to put in the password. Now this is the camera's password. This is not your CamCloud password. So this is the password associated with the actual device. Uh, so I've put that in there. My external uh, IP uh, or um, DDNS um, a host name is uh, the way that CamCloud will find uh, your camera uh, on the internet and then you need to open up uh, a couple ports so uh, in the case of um, Sony cameras there's actually two ports you need to open up you need to uh, open up the RTSP port now this is so that uh, we can stream a video over RTSP and then we also need to open up an HTTP port uh, this allows us to communicate with the camera over HTTP. Uh, so all those uh, credentials are in. I press next and you see how fast that was. What we've done is uh, we actually did a test connection to the camera, uh, ping the camera and so that way you know that uh, you're configured and uh, ready to go uh, and it's successfully set up on the network. 
Now, one last step, there's a couple optional camera settings here. Uh, I can configure the camera for uh, different video qualities. Uh, I'll keep it on HD, I like good video quality. Um, whether you want motion detection turned uh, on or off for that particular camera. If motion detection is turned on, what that'll do is it'll uh, trigger a recording when there's motion in front of the camera. So I want that as well. Uh, and uh, notifications. So we have uh, two types of notifications. We have uh, push notifications down to uh, your mobile device, your iOS or Android device. Uh, and then we also have um, email notifications. And so uh, I want notifications when there is motion. I want to know about that. So I'm going to leave that on. Uh, and so that way um, I will get notifications right down to my Android and uh, iOS devices, which is great. And then some motion sensitivity, capture mode, we can just capture snapshots, images, uh, video or both. Uh, I just want video and so I'm going to set it that way. And then once you've selected your options, you press finish uh, and you're done. It's just going to finalize these settings. Uh, and then now the Sony is shows up in your list of uh, available cameras in your camera list. Uh, I can jump to uh, the live view interface and now you see the Sony uh, is available there and when I turn it on it'll start a stream and we'll see some exciting footage from the uh, the office here uh, and you can expand it, you can expand it right to a full screen if you want uh, so there you go, that's how you set up a Sony camera with CamCloud if there's any motion in front of the camera uh, what it will do, it will save uh, the recordings, the subsequent recordings in your cloud storage account uh, and you can see uh, I already have um, uh, a list of recordings for this camera and I can go ahead and play back these recordings and review any incidents or a video that needs to be uh, reviewed um, that was captured in front of the camera. So that's how you set up a Sony uh, camera with CamCloud. Thanks for watching.